Hi there, Gemini. It's Milady, and I'm here to bring you your September 2022 reading right in front of us. Gemini, you know how I, you know how we do it, Gemini. Okay, I shuffle these cards, meditate, um, meditate to so that we'd know what's coming up for this upcoming month. As I am recording this, um, the end of um, August. All right, and uh, this is for September of 2022. So we've got all these cards that came facing up, and you know how that goes. It's all yours. So these two cards here, and we have a lot to talk about here, Gemini. So the two cards up top is the highlight for the month, which is the Empress and the Wheel of Fortune. The Empress to me has always been something like new beginnings, the birth of something, a uh, new business or a new job, new relationship. Um... Uh, that's what I'm showing something uh, a birth of something and I just heard maybe a rebirth as well um, and the reason why I'm saying that is because you have the wheel of fortune here the wheel of fortune has always been more like a uh, you know what goes around comes around like a karmic situation you know um, I feel like you know it, it, it's like I do you know you do i just heard you do good on good by my side i will do good by your side is what i just heard but let me go ahead and explain what's going on with our with our clarifying cards that we have in front of us here so okay let's just go ahead and go right down the line here is what i'm seeing okay so uh all right so i'm showing here with the chariot card as a change okay uh, movement all right and i have the lovers cards right next to it now the interesting thing about this lovers card for this deck here is in the traditional tarot uh you would see like uh a person and like and then like two um two people like having to make a choice of two people but in this uh deck here it's letting me as you clearly see here there's only one person there so with this lover lover's card it's just leading it's just basically telling me here um that there's just this one person for you okay there's only this one person for you okay uh make up your mind <laughs> i just heard okay now you have the um the page of wands and the knight of pentacles um i'm sorry not the knight of pentacles the nine of pentacles um having everything you want gemini but missing one thing okay and usually i've always seen this nine of pentacles as having everything you want as you see there you know she looks you know she looks very content and very grounded um and all but she's missing one thing and that's love okay um let me get into some more things here with you um the page of wands it's more like uh curiosity to me in this reading here now let me tell you what else i see here uh and also it also leads me to believe as too much in your head as well you have this queen of swords here the queen of swords is uh an air sign like yourself it could be you okay so it could be a gemini libra or aquarius okay and then um i'm showing here you know um the being caught caught up in your thoughts where uh it has you feeling not well okay um maybe feeling some type of depression okay feeling some difficulties uh may possibly turning a favorable situation that may have gone uh bad okay uh it's telling us here gemini um that uh despite bad beginnings good things will come as you're going to get right back on track to the things that you like to do and what you used to do all right through prayers and you making this decision that you have to make okay and this possibly may have to do with something from afar okay and um there is hope here okay there is hope here but in order for you to get to where you want to get here there's something that you have to let go of because there's an ending of something here all right so uh there's an ending of something for something better to come in know that okay and it's uh uh the fact that you got this card which is the last card it's the death card is letting me uh lead leading me to believe that there is an ending some there's an ending of something here which is basically something that isn't serving you or no longer serving you okay 
um, and I see that here too with this uh, two of pentacles, a decision that you'd need to make uh, between the two, okay? And there's hope, and I see that, okay? So like I said, despite bad beginnings, good things will come, all right? Open your heart, Gemini. Um, I just feel like um, maybe something did not work out in your favor when it comes to love or a person. Um, and maybe because this is probably why I see this uh, nine of pentacles here. And then right next to her is the queen of swords. Okay, so... You know, and I'm I'm feeling them as being one person. Um, it, it's just telling me to open up your heart. That's what I'm showing here. That's what I have here for the month of September for you, uh, Gemini. That's what I have for you. Bye-bye now.